Welcome to Vets Talking Tunes. Welcome to Vets Talking. Today we're talking tunes, specifically we're talking Tom McDonald America. I am joined today with my friend, our one and only at this time, Marine Corps veteran, Ura Pope Metallicus. How are you, my friend? Doing good, man. Good to be reviewing, reviewing some uh, music that actually keeps America in mind for once rather than uh, all the modern bullshit. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. That's uh, that's why I want to review Tom McDonald. Uh, preface it here. I am not a musical expert. That man is. I'm here to review the lyrics. I want to go over Tom McDonald's lyrics because this dude is a fucking patriot. He's anti-woke, and I love the fucking message he puts out. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to nail down the lyrics. He's going to hit on the music aspect. And with that, let's fucking get into Tom McDonald America. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. So right off the bat, I love that line right there. And kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. And the first time I heard this song, that was immediately off the bat. I knew exactly what this song is about, and it hit me to a core because especially both you and me, my friend, we know that this is really impactful, especially with all that fucking bullshit, Colin Kaepernick, kneeling for the flag crap. It's nothing but insulting to us. Um, real American soldiers hate that shit. It does not stand for anything positive but anti-America and anti-soldier. What do you think, bud? No, I think you're completely right. And especially in a genre like this, where a lot of the lyricism is usually just about, you know, either the gang life or, you know, how many cars and bitches they can accumulate. It's yeah. really nice to see somebody that actually gives a shit and is talking about important stuff rather than, you know, just inane bullshit. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's get a little bit more into this. Obviously, we haven't heard much of the tunes yet for you to analyze, so let's keep on going. You think it's brave to take a stand against the nation. Real bravery is dying for the right so you can say, Dear America, what happened to our greatest... Okay, what do you think of the music so far? I mean, it's a fairly standard uh, rhythm, but, you know, again, most rap music, the beat exists to give them something to flow to, and it serves the lyrics which I think it does a great job in this case. He has an excellent flow, excellent cadence. It's really just fits pretty well together. And a lot of people, especially in uh, rock and heavy metal, I like tend to try to focus on the singer as his own thing. What I try to always do, and it's really the way it's supposed to be, is that the, the vocalist is literally just another instrument in the piece. So I treat yeah. most music like that, and it all fits pretty well together. So it's jiving pretty well here. I love it. I love it. And, uh, yeah, in the line here, he had, uh, you think it's brave to take a stand against the nation. Real bravery is dying, so you have the right so you can say it. I mean, fucking hey, dude. Yeah, these social justice warriors, they actually call themselves that. This is, they call themselves social justice warriors because they think they're they're warriors for their cause. And they're being brave and fighting for that cause. Fuck you. Okay, the only reason you have to be able to be the little pansy ass fucking bitch that you are is because of the people who died for your freedom. So fuck that shit. Once again, Tom McDonald being fucking awesome for for calling this shit out. Republicans are labor rules as mental illness. The internet is only interested in left opinion. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. All right, what do you think? No, I think he's dropping some absolute truth bombs there. I mean, everything he said is pretty much on point. Yeah. And like, yeah. What, what, especially when he says, like, it's not about left or right, basically, but the internet only seems to give a shit about one side of the argument. Yeah, that, absolutely. That's basically what guys like us fight against is on YouTube or wherever we are, basically saying, like, no, there is another side and you will hear it, whether you like it or not. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's one thing. I, I love the fact that they think that they're so brave. Uh, I've heard this called out so often, you know, um, when everyone wants to say, oh, well, he's just a Fox News watcher. Well, OK, so he's a Republican and he's conservative. Where else do you think he's going to go for a fucking news? There's no other option out there for the mainstream. Everything else we, is, we left, trust, is left wing politics. And if we could trust NBC or CNN or whoever else, 
to actually represent both sides of the argument, which is all we're asking for. We're not asking for everyone to agree with the right side of the aisle either. I don't give a shit if you what side of the aisle you're on. As long as you are willing to listen to the other side and have a rational argument, good. Yeah. That's all it's supposed to happen. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. I think we're about to get into the course here. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund police. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets. We respect freedom of speech. We protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. Okay, I, I want to stop right there. I love that line right there. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, we're not looking for a fight. We're not looking for a fight. But you keep on pushing us. You keep on you keep on pushing us. Yeah, do not tread on me is line from the Gadsden flag. That is is all because the British back before the Revolutionary War started, the British was stomping on our fucking necks all the time. So that's why you had the snake in the you had the snake in the Gadsden flag, the yellow the yellow flag with the snake. A snake will leave you alone. A snake will just will just tread will just crawl along in the grass and leave you perfectly alone until you step on it. The second you step on it, it'll fucking bite you. That's what's happening right now. You're stepping pretty, all over us. We don't want anybody we dead, use, but keep it up. Anytime we tried to use any lesser form of protest, like you know, boycotts or um you know, tar and feathering some of the tax collectors, stuff like that. Basically, you know, lesser means of, hey, get gone. This is not the way we want to do things. The British basically then got even more authoritarian and started, you know, especially me being from Massachusetts. I mean, it all happened right around Boston was basically yeah. banning our banning our town meetings, ban banning any kind of local governance and banning any kind of local militia to the point where it yeah. actually did cause a fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're, I mean, like I said, uh, again, we're not calling for, we're not calling for violence. Keep it up. See what happens. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's the course. Let's see how. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you pack your bags. You hate this country so damn much. Get the fuck out. I moved to Canada. If Donald Trump becomes president. Well, you're still fucking here, ain't you? Pack your fucking bags and get out. What do you think of that course though, bud? No, I think he's absolutely on point. I mean, that's how most people feel. It's like, hey, you don't have to stay here. We stay here because we fucking love it here. We, I think this is the greatest nation in the history of mankind. And will continue to be so if we just let people do what they want to do and keep being us. Rather than bowing down to this absolute narrative that everything the West has ever done has been a farce or horrible in some way shape or form no it isn't i'm proud of most of the things we've done were there things that were fucked up yeah show me one country that isn't oh show yeah, yeah that oh. Have that shit in their history oh there's there's a line later on i'm gonna harp on that hard so <laughs> let's wait oh, to right. get to that one uh what do you think about that uh for the music uh the tunes for that part uh for the chorus no i think it's great where he's stressing America as that's the part he's actually singing. Like that's drawing attention to that as that's the point. And that's really the point he's trying to make is like, this is America. This is the point of it. Mm, fantastic. I love it. All right, let's keep going. Does anybody know what the hell happened to the Patriots lately? This nation is so ashamed and hating itself. Did everyone forget that? Yeah. All right. So there, there's another one right there. I mean, for one, what the hell happened to the Patriots? What the hell happened to people who love this country and actually want to stand up? Because that's that's what's going on right now in this nation is they want to shame everybody. They're calling everything racist, sexist, homophobic. So, I mean, you can't even support protecting our border without being called a racist now. Everything is racist. So that's why. We're, we're in a culture now where people are afraid to even say anything. You know, I, it's so funny that if I sit at a bar, you kind of have to talk in code to somebody next to you to understand if they align with your politics. You can actually talk openly. You, know, you can talk about, hey, I love what Donald Trump was doing or something like that. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up that we're in this in this culture now where we are labeled. Uh, essentially the same way uh, in a, in a, in the same manner that Jews were labeled as uh, by the Nazis and the people in Germany to persecute them. It's well, it, yeah, I mean, and when you, you know, Gina Carano was right. When you can't even but, say something as simple as, you know, Hey, I think the pre previous president did a good job without having to throw hands to defend yourself. That's a fucking problem. 
Yeah. Like that's a problem. Like I don't care if you're left or right or whatever. If you cannot voice that opinion without having to defend yourself, that's not a healthy society. And that is not the way things should be run. Yeah. Bottom line, Patriots need to stand up, man. Patriots need to stand up and be vocal again. Don't, don't just don't care. You should not give a fuck what people call you. Uh, in fact, that's that's a whole nother song we can review with Tom McDonald. No time he came out with one recently called Names, where it's just they're just names. They'll call you whatever mm-hmm. the fuck they want, but they're just names. Don't let it hurt you. All right. At home, we don't need no violence. Got no time for all you radicals. Screw your status quo. We're not animals. I'm on Neo for the anthem because the flag is what I'm standing for. Oh, I love that line. I fucking that is, love that line. That's that's brilliant. And this is one of the things I do like about rap as a genre is. They tend to get very clever and very poetic with how they say things. And that was brilliant. Like that was just well done, concise, like just to the point. Yep. Excellent. Screw your status quo. We're not animals. I won't kneel for the anthem because the flag is what I'm standing for. Fucking love it, man. That I mean, that gave me chills right there. I've heard this song a million times. That still gives me chills when I hear it. That is a perfect line. And uh, and I'm sure you'd agree with me from from the uh, the musical standpoint, the way that the the beat rolled with that was fantastic. No, I love I love the way that like basically the beat is basically just his way of staying in time and being able to rhyme in cadence. It's the same as a drum beat in a rock tune. Everything's going off of that, and that's what's driving the song. And the way it's kind of flowing at this point, and you know, speeding up and slowing down at exactly the right points. It and he's staying with it perfectly. It's great. Uh, he is, oh God. It, there's, there's no, there's no doubt in one or why he is so damn popular as he is being an Dude's independent artist. All right. Let's go. In America, you can hate the government and still love the country. The fundamental values of America are country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. So there we go again. It's 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 another uh, it's another way he 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 points out these dichotomies uh, that we have in the separations between uh, Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives. Um, you know, it's one thing when you have when you have labels like that. There's too many people who stick to the labels and then want to attack because they're just not the same, the other person. Fuck the labels, man. Just stick with your values and and don't hate on someone else because they have other values well there are too many people that are part of one party or the other and have no idea what the values of that of that political movement really are they just know i'm from here or all my friends are this i have to be this and that's not how it works like if you're going to be part of a political movement at least understand the philosophy you're trying to deal with and Mm -hmm. these these people clearly don't yeah, there was a, a Sarah Silverman ha- uh, was doing. I can't remember if she had a series or she was doing a special or something like that. And she actually went to interview people in Republican type towns. And what she came back and uh, she was doing an interview with someone. She's like, these people actually aren't bad people. Like, yeah, I don't agree with them, but they're not bad people. And, and she was actually shocked by it because they've been conditioned to believe that anyone who is on our side of the aisle, the political aisle, that we are, in fact, bad people. You know, I've said this before on streams that we that we've done where I uh, the da- the Dan Bongino rule is absolutely correct that we see we as conservatives look at them as people with bad ideas, whereas they on their side, they look at us as bad people with ideas. It doesn't matter what our ideas are. We're just bad people. And therefore, our ideas should not even matter. And we should never even be given a platform to say them because obviously we're evil and, you know, all that. And exactly. that is one of the fundamental differences I've had. Like I've been, you know, having political debates with my f- friends and whatever, or former friends now for almost a de- for over a decade at this point. And since we were able, old enough to really understand and vote and, you know, know what the hell we're talking about. And one thing I've noticed consistently is that conservatives may disagree with your ideas, not liberals, but leftists think they are a better person for the things that they believe. Yep. And that yep. is something you will never see come out of most right wingers. I yeah. don't know what yeah. it is. Maybe it's just a difference in mentality, and that's why we fall on one side of the political spectrum or other. But that is just something I have seen in real life. No, yep. you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. And I think uh, coming up here is the line I was really wanting to get to. 
You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. We started out United States divided is what we've become. If home is where the heart is, you should show America some love. You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. I mean, that's it right there, man. That's it right there. We want these people want to attack America. Americans want to attack America so much for for claiming that we're so bad about slavery and and people and police killing people. It happens fucking everywhere. There was slavery going on long after we abolished it in all over around the world. We, were, we are the not the on only the ones planet. who have sinned in this world. Sorry, what you we, say? We were, I think, the third country to actually abolish it. It was Britain and France and then us. Um, mm -hmm. And the funny thing is most people that have been taught about the Civil War or the slavery movement, it's all bullshit. I mean, if you look at at sources that were around from the time, most of what we believe is not true. And most of the media sources from the day, well, people won't talk about this in your history class in school, but the reason they all support Abraham Lincoln is because he jailed everyone who didn't. Yeah. So yeah, keep that in mind He's... that you're only hearing one side of the argument because the other side was in the stockade. Yeah. We started out United States divided is what we become. If home is where the heart is, you should show America some love. I mean, fucking hey, dude. I mean, he's okay. he's so right. And you know, that's that's the beautiful thing about our country is that we're a united people. We're a united people of every different type of race, religion, and creed. We've always been united in that. And and now there's just nothing but division being pushed from from mm -hmm. the other side, from the we're, we're still sitting here saying, well, can we please come together and have a conversation and unite again? And they just keep on wanting to drive that wedge. Absolutely, man. I mean, like we are, like you said, we are truly unique in the world and that we are a nation of ideals. We are not a ethnic or spiritual or religious group. I mean, I guess you can technically call, you know, the constitution and, you know, our ideals, our religion or our God, but basically that's the ideal is as long as you believe these things and want these things to be true, you are welcome here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like we have lost that in our discourse in the last 20 years, because before yeah. that it was, that was mo where most people were at. And now I barely see that anywhere. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your bags. America. Love it. I fucking no, I, love it, man. I I, lo I, I like the beat because it, it serves the purpose. I mean, rap, it's not supposed to be over the top. It's not supposed to be this amazing musical number. It's supposed to basically fit, uh, fill the gaps and fit, and fit the rhythm, and it's perfect for that. It's well-paced. I mean, the lyricism, like you say, this man in two bars will drop some extremely, you know, or just hammer the point home perfectly in a very poetic way that's also kind of entertaining kind of funny like it's exactly what you want in a song like this like just perfect yeah yeah and I, again from my angle being being the messaging the message is just on point dude this is it, this is showing true patriotism true uh true love and support for um, I'm not going to say veterans uh, for the people who died. That's what really is, is important is the people who truly sacrificed, uh, that, that had, that has the blood stain on our, on our American flag. Our flag is stained with that blood because of, of patriots, because of people who died to defend our freedom and our way of life. And that is what is so damn important. That is what is so damn important. And it's important also to go forward. For our military, that's why we're, you know, on, on this channel, we're we're harping a lot on the woke military bullshit that's going on because it's it's doing nothing but destroying our military at this point. We need our military to be strong, and we need people to be proud of our military and show support so that true patriots will want to fight for this country, and so that unfortunately we will have those unfortunately that will die for this country to keep our country free. That's really what's important. Uh, what are your final thoughts, bud? I mean, like I said, that piece 
excellent, well written, well executed. I mean, the guy obviously has some serious talent when it comes to uh, writing lyrics and also just rapping. It's hard to match the beat like that and stay on point and really get your point across clearly. And he did it really well. And you know, there's an, I mean, the old adage of talent, talent talks and money walks. This guy has fucking talent. And it's not, Absolutely. it's not surprising to hear why he's as popular as he is and why people talk about him. Absolutely. Even as, even as a guy who is not a, necessarily the biggest fan of this genre of music, it's not really my thing, but I can sit down and enjoy this because A, it's well done, and B, the messaging is exactly what people need to hear, even if it may not be what they want to hear. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I I stopped listening to rap a long time ago. I grew up in high school listening to Eminem and uh, Biggie and a couple of these other ones, but I stopped listening to them a long time ago. I have not I have not intentionally listened to a rap song until Tom McDonald came along, and yeah, his latest album. As soon as I heard it coming out, I immediately bought it. Uh, I'm I'm such a huge, huge, huge Tom McDonald fan, and he is the motivation. For me, want to do this series of Vets Talking Tunes because I want to review music that has a fantastic, positive, patriotic message like this. So uh, I would love to, again, in the future, uh, Pope, you and me, hit on some uh, some more of these Tom McDonald songs. I would love to go over some of the crazy shit that Kid Rock's been doing. Uh, so and, anybody you know, there's, out there, there's some stuff in the metal community too, with bands like Sabaton or Iced Earth talking about our history and talking about it from a standpoint of this is what happened, not trying to moralize or make a point about it. So this is what happened, and it's important that we remember it. Yep. So yeah, so everybody out there, please let us know in the comments what would you like to hear? Did you, did you enjoy this? Would you like to see more of a Vets Talking Tunes series? And if so. What would you like us to review? Also, if you're new to this channel, you can always find Bets Talking. Drop the G and you'll find me on YouTube, on Rumble. Check out at Bets Talking on the Twitters, on Facebook if you ever want to get notifications. Because sometimes Mama Susan doesn't like me and she doesn't always let people know when we're on. So please come check us out. We're always doing streams every single Tuesday. Uh, for Vets Talking Tuesday and Saturday for Skinamax Saturday, where pretty much I'm just drinking a bunch of beers and we're all just shooting the shit, telling fucking dick jokes and some uh, some old fucked up ass military stories. But again, everybody out there, if you like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, this channel is not just for veterans. This is, in fact, for everybody. All we ask is you don't get butt hurt. You've been warned. Open the door. Oh, oh God. Oh. Oh, my God.